Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to the Call of Duty World League CWL Championship. Oh, I did CWL twice there, but we're ready because it's the second best of five. Perfect. Optic Gaming, Team Envious, Envy. Backs against the wall now as they lost that first series, Jack. I don't know what to expect, pal. Finally, Optic Gaming as an organization have beaten Envy in a best of five here at a Call of Duty World League Championship. But Matt, they have to do it again now. I, I I still don't know what, if it's possible. And look, I think we learn about Envy a lot as a team. Last year, they go all throughout winners. They are in, able to take it there. They're J-Cap, they were in Advanced Warfare, all through winners, able to win that one. And now with this Envy roster, they face a lot of adversity throughout the year, a lot of experience. Let's see how they deal with that first tough loss here to OG. And again, we'll keep coming back to it, but just two weeks ago, such a similar scenario. Optic coming from losers at the Stage 2 playoffs. Envy waiting. Optic has to beat them twice, and they get it done. You know, Scump, I remember talking to him. He was so proud of the team. It was so hard to believe in them being able to do it because it happened so rarely. Imagine doing it twice in a two-week span with two million on the line. This envious team, they've already won a Call of Duty World League Championship as a roster of four. They did it last year to end the Black Ops 3 season. Optic Gaming, though, they formed two and a half years ago with the single goal in mind. Win Optic Gaming a Call of Duty Championship. In Advanced Warfare, they placed seventh. In Black Ops 3, they placed seventh. This year, the curse was broken. They're in the grand final, and they're now three maps away from fulfilling their destiny. I think here in this final series, this is where you need your MVP candidates to be MVPs. Yes. The side of Envy beat a much better series overall from Slasher. They started to play well, and that scorch hard point towards the end. You need him better over the course of the entire series. And then on the side of Optic Gaming, I think you're looking at Scum. I, I he, know he needs to be the king here. Needs to show up. Everything on the line. I'm curious, you know, we talk about the MVP. Do you have any strong candidates right now? I feel like for Envy, it has to be, I think, Slasher, clearly. But on the other side, I mean, I think you can make an argument for formal, Karma, hell, maybe any of the guys. But if you talk statistically, I know a formal certainly been the outlier. Well, we'll see who will become the MVP. There's nothing else to talk about. Throw the stats out the window. It comes down to this. The final series of competitive Call of Duty here in Infinite Warfare. And it'll be the best one yet. Optic Gaming versus Team Envious. Let's run it back. On with Karma to kick things off. His teammates clearing the way there. But three kills quickly on the kill feed for Envy. Matt, talk to me a little bit about throwback when it comes to hard point. How's it play as a map? Yeah, you want to control the second hill on this map. The barn hill that'll pop up after this train platform. That is the one where you can take a ton of time on. Then we'll go over to the bike path. And then hill number four, it'll be in the baseball field. All the way in that right-hand side of the map, where you see the members of Optic Gaming spawning. Need to hold that one as well. Barn and baseball, the two hills you need to control to win on throwback. We'll see what people can do. Optic Gaming and Envy, when they played this earlier, OG showed up big time. Right now, Slasher starting off at two and two, holding this outside bike lane as Optic have to push on through to fight for that barn spawn. But look what Crimson just did on your mini map. He gets a kill, and he's actually going to be here for Optic Gaming. Well, let's see where that player spawns. Give me the question. Look yeah. at that. Look at that. Crim6 gets behind. Now you see Formal pop in the back. You have a chance for a pincher attack now. Optic will be pushing in. Formal with a kill. And this is such a testament to how good of a player Crim6 is. Always thinking about the win. Matt, that's his only kill this entire map. And it's the reason why OG even have a chance to hold this hill. Yeah, but it's going to be one kill that gives him 15 seconds, which oh, wow. allows him to get right back into this game. But does not matter. The rest of Envy breaks into Barn. They will take it back. 30 seconds left on this hill. And Slasher early asserting his dominance out on bike path towards mid map. It was Apathy doing the dirty work inside as he is six and three, looking for his seventh. Just picked up a Scarab, several kills away from that Trinity, but it won't matter as he is traded out by Scump. Scump gets a couple inside before finally. Jacob takes him out, but it's a Karma and Crim6 show inside. Hard point, a game mode where it's first to 250 score. You know, to the veteran Call of Duty World League watchers, I know you guys know this, but guess what? There are thousands and thousands of new viewers tuning into Call of Duty for the first time today. 250 is the magic number you need to earn a map victory here in hard point. Well, Karma heating up eight and five, a five streak, and getting close to the Trinity Rocket for himself. 
Scarab out, trying to scout mid-map, sees one and actually gets the kill as he was tagged up. That's three down now for Envy. As they're looking to try and flip these spawns and get control of that right side of the mini-map as we're going to rotate out to one of our big money hills. Which yeah, will be and, baseball field. And Envy is going to give up here on Bike Path. I mean, they're spawning so far out. They need to hold baseball, though. When you rotate early, you need to take the time at the beginning of the next hard point. Foptic Gaming, they take the rest here on Bike Path. They're able to get one good break. This game one will turn into a blowout. Uncharacteristic start here from Formal, actually. Zero seconds in the hard point. So far this weekend, he's been leading his team in hard point time at 93 seconds on average in the hill. You can see he's playing around what's working for his team right now. If his team's winning the gunfights in the hard point, he'll slay around it. More than happy to do that with the AR. Two big stories here. One can Optic break in. Two can Karma build these streaks. Is he so, so close? The answer is no. They run into a wall that is in the all for drop. Perfect hold from Team Envious. That could very well be a game-saving play from Team Envious. You get that first wave of kills. 30 seconds still available on this hard point. You're able to close the gap going into the second half. And now you get a better second half from John. You may be very well able to steal this game one. Last year in the Call of Duty World League Championship, it was this man, John, who earned the title of MVP for Envious as they took home that incredible prize pot. And the grand final right now, a quiet game from him. A .6 KD at just 6 and 10. But Apathy, the closest we've seen of anybody getting these streaks. He's just a kill and assist away. I'm trying to make Find an easy kill. He's got one of the side teammates going to call it out. There it is. 25 points off. Whoever's at back boss, this grenade could be huge. But he's able to slide and get away with his life. Live to see another day. Live to work on these streaks. Shoot the dead body. There's one, though. 25 now to the bombardment. And you see how good Envy as a team there. They bait for apathy. They give him that kill. Why were they the best team at the end of Black Ops 3 last year? They're, they're baiting and switching was to perfection. Showing you why they are world champions here. And Matt, you made a great point earlier saying how that hold at baseball could have been the saving grace of this map. It's now been 40 straight seconds for Envy. What was a 60 second lead for Optic is now down to just 15. Well, and they also get streaks out of that baseball hold as well there on Apathy. So next time that hill comes up, he's going to be able to use those to break. It should go to Envious again. And what did I ask you before this? Can Apathy pick it up? He struggled in the last series. They need him to be huge here in hard point. He's done just that. Nearly a minute in the hard point. 17 and 10. He's leading all Karma. slayers in the lobby. But Karma, some filthy shots there at the top window. I mean, right now, he might be the MVP of the grand final for Optic Gaming. Scump. Something went wrong for him on that engagement there as Apathy snaps on him to put his KD to just shy of a 2.0. And this is a, you know, a map where Scump has gone off famously. We've seen him drop 50 plus, right? He's the all-time slaying leader on this particular map. But I think Apathy going so huge right now has really been a crux for him. You see Envious now will take the lead. John in this back area of the map. He has done such a nice job picking up these kills, controlling the spawns for Envy which has given them this hard point. And what did you say just a minute ago, Jack? If John's going to pick it up, they're going to get right back into things. And he is streaking. It was four before he fell. But Envy looking for a bit of control, pushing this lead out as much as they can. 121 to 106. Envy now on a 100-second swing since they were down by 60 earlier on this map. Karma doing everything he can for Optic Gaming, leading in kills, tied for least amount of deaths, and most time in the hard point. Right now, they just need some more from Crim6 as well as Formal on the map. And Matt, you know, you've spoken about Crim6. I know you coached him back in the day. Why is it so crucial for him to pick it up in the site department right now? I mean, when he starts to heat up, I mean, he may be very well the best player in all Call of Duty. We haven't seen it in a while. We've seen it on occasion. You know, with how good Formal and Skump are, you don't really need a game to game. But in these big moments, you know, when you are one of the leaders, you need to show up. If you get Krim to have a good game, it kind of makes everybody else fall in line. I like the FTL jump there from Formal. He pushes on through, gets the kill on the final player from Envy, wipes them four dead, and now that'll force a spawn on the opposite side of the map from where they want to be. Formal, now one kill off the Trinity Rocket. He has to play his life here. These streaks could be huge in Optic Gaming's momentum as we head into the second half of this game. And here we go, lead change to the favor of Optic Gaming. They've taken it back, but these gunfights in the back are going to be big as well. Can we hop over to Scump real quick? He's going to deal with so much pressure coming in. Can he get a pick, maybe play his life as the rest of the members of Optic rotate over? Yeah, so Formal picks up that kill, so they will have streaks. We'll see if Optic will invest any of them into this hard point. Here comes the Trinity Rocket. 
Oh, oh. So he gets Slasher, but he also takes out Karma. So you get absolutely nothing out of that Trinity. And because Envy is in control of the hill as well, they don't have to burn any of their score streaks that Apathy has. Yeah, that's a really poor sequence of events, but Formal does get the bombardment at least out of that, but the streak in the break, not gonna hold. Envy still here. Cap, the captain, standing strong. Seems like baseball's been the saving grace for Envy so far in this map. Now up by about 10 seconds, they should be able to thwart this final optic gaming push unless, well, Karma does something like that alongside his longtime teammate in Crip6. And the best part of that four team envious is you know, the score pretty much tied right now. You will see baseball again. So at that moment, you probably have active camo on Slasher and you have those score streaks. If you lose Barn at the beginning, you could use the camo to get in there. Then you invest those streaks to get baseball at the end. Well, for now, we're back to mid-map, and it's Skump getting aggressive. He's going to be a real nuisance here as Envy trying to come off spawn. They have to deal with him first. Well, it's a, it's a couple of nades up top there in the green that are able to pick him off. Two kills now. Either way, no one been able to pick up any time. You can see the play clock dwindling, uh, dwindling under two minutes. I don't think that's going to really come into play too much unless we see yeah. a... Oh, I mean, very well you never know. This is the map it can happen on. They keep playing like this around the hard point that it might just. As both teams afraid to hop in the hill, Formal snaps to two. Karma with a two-piece of his own. And look at Formal. What did I say earlier? Formal was at one point 15 and 14. Now 26 and 17. And Karma hasn't skipped a beat. Formal continues to destroy a 6 3. 29 and 17, getting the better of his counterpart in Slasher. He's been a monster all weekend long, but there were questions. Would he show up in the grand final? I think the answer is a resounding yes. 14 and 3 in his last three lives. Finally does die, but look at the score swing because of it. Optic, we're down by 30. Now up by 40. Skump uses the reactive armor there, but it does look like it'll help Optic hold on to this hill. Envy still, though, with a lot of utility towards the end of this game. See the Trinity Rocket for Apathy. You do have Slasher with the active camo, but they're giving up a ton of time here. Envy needs a break here, unless they're going for a win on baseball. You know, maybe you think you can take some time at Bike Path, rotate over. I think they need some time on this hill, though. The last 15 seconds or so would be huge. As see, John will lose that engagement to Krim. So it looks like OG will hold on to this hard point. A full 60 seconds for Optic Gaming, their biggest lead of the map, now up by 75. They cannot afford to throw this one away. They have the tools they need. They have the momentum they need. Formal cuts down Slasher. Karma with one of his own. They're going to try to push on through here. One final player dead. Optic within 10 seconds of taking that one. The streaks are out, but three kills now to Envy. Not gonna end quite yet if we know anything about this envious side, the never uh -oh. die mentality. They will always fight back until the streaks start plunging in from the sky. Nobody in the hard point right now. Just seven points needed for Optic Game. Optic wanna end the map here, Matt. They cannot let it go back to baseball, which is Envy's best hard point so far in this sequence of events. JCap just contesting, buying time for his team. 245 to 167. The pinch comes in. He does have help. But Optic, they're setting up for the new hardpoint, Maven. They're set up. And just five more points needed. Krem peaks in bowling. He's able to find a kill. Apathy and company. Now looking to soar in. The time ticking for Optic. They find it. The final tick. Optic gaming take game one. with his best respawn of, I would say, all of the second half of Infinite Warfare right there on map one. With, well, the, he, way, with the way he's playing in this final, I mean, this may be the best series we've seen him play in a very long time. A lot of questions of, you know, is he the player he once was? You know, in these big game moments, this is when you need him and he's showing up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he led the way in the game one of the first best of five. Yes. I mean, he has been terrific through this. I mean, maybe formal your MVP throughout this week in getting you there, but Karma making an argument right now. He has been so, so good. Two 
maps away our optic gaming people know the famous famous shot from vision last year a formal with his head in his hands after optic failed again to win this title this is the closest they have ever been as an organization i cannot imagine the pressure on their shoulders right now and i mean you know the last game will be the hardest like you know winning map yes. one great winning map two excellent that closeout game though like the amount of just pressure just the intensity that goes into it, it it's going to be an extremely tough game regardless of whether it's like an uplink a hard point s and d it's going to be tough. Well, when we talk S&D, we saw the leaderboard earlier. It's been three players oh, from Envy at the top. Slasher, Apathy, John. Formal was, like, I think, on the list at eight or nine no, until no. this previous series, right? I don't know if Apathy was on this list of top ten, but because of how good he has played in the grand final alone against Optic with ten-plus kills so far in each S&D, he's bucked him all the way up into that second-place spot. A lot like the graphics we saw last year. Slasher, John, Apathy at the top. JCap just making championship plays. Envy has found form here, but they are run up into a juggernaut of Optic Gaming. You know, uh, game number two, obviously Envy very good in Search and Destroy. They dropped this one. May just be too much to overcome. And if you're Optic, I don't think you can rely on the, the recipe for the first series to, to win all these respawns. I just don't think you can do that. It's going to have to come in a search and destroy at some point, whether it's game two, whether it's game five. You talk about how strong you've been in it, you have to win it. But you see how spectacular those three players have been in search and destroy. This is going to be one hell of a finish, boys. Whew. Let's all take a deep breath here. We're going to slow things down, head into Search and Destroy. This game mode, one life per round. The first team to win six rounds will take the map. Optic Gaming up 1-0 in our second best of five. Amway Center makes some noise. Crusher, Search and Destroy, up next. Slasher, number one on that SD leaderboard. We have seen him drop double digits on this map so many times, earn multiple camos, but there is a flurry of Optic players pushing through. Can he turn the tide? He does get two before dropping, but suddenly it's Cap. The man of the hunt for two rings and a 1v2. Can't get it done. Optic fight fire with fire. Four on four, and uh-oh, Scump. Starting to show the energy on the main stage. Some famous clips from the stage two playoffs, Matt. When he gets hyped, Optic Gaming just find their rhythm. It's like they know they take this game. They have Envy dead in the water. See how they play this next round. As it'll be Optic on offense. A lot of pressure down towards that bottom side of the minimap. Envy stacking inside. See how quick Envy adjusts here. Has to rotate all the way across the map. Building forward. They're about to hit each other. Here we go. Formal with first blood. Scump there. Hesitant to push forward. They haven't gone for this plant yet. Tactical does connect. And look, I, I like this from Optic. They're going to fall back for a moment. They don't think Envy would ever try to push through this choke point in this small door. And I don't blame them. Crim6 with the... Oh, that's just done. Last man is Slasher. Don't give a kill to Formal, he's already 4-0. Once they get rolling, they're very tough to stop. First blood and the first two rounds here both result in wins. Now, getting picked at the beginning of these rounds in their previous search and destroy against Envy was their downfall in map number two. You see the adjustments at least in the first two rounds here. Can they keep it going? While Optic do look dominant right now, we've learned one thing throughout the last year and a half with this MVP team, never count them out. We were reminded of that yesterday when they faced EU United. While they are down now, MV will absolutely be a team that is capable of coming back and pot potentially taking this series. And how big would it be, though, for the Optic side if Formal can get those streaks? Uh, if he gets them, I'll have you elaborate a little bit more on it, but I know, Jack, you've talked time and time again about how you can turn the tides with those streaks with a couple kills. Back and forth, two versus two. Now Karma by himself. This is one you have to win if you're Envy. 
Could this be the round that breaks their back if Karma can clutch this 1v2? But it'd be a big round as well, because Optic draws first blood. And Envy able to win the trades from there on out. Force this 2v1 scenario. We'll see Apathy on your screen. We'll get bombed down. Any points that Karma can earn towards this camo helps Optic Gaming in the long run. He has been spotted, which will let Envy players focus their attention towards this side door. First challenge comes in, peeking around the side, doesn't see him, Apathy with the cleanup. There you go, Envy now on the board. You gotta like the positioning from Apathy. Completely catches him off guard. And, you know, as much as we talk about clutches, one of the biggest things in Surge with this much pressure is the, the, the scenarios you should win, right? The 3v2, the yes. 2v1, you need to do that. And I know you and I talked about how good Envy was at that yesterday. They show it again right there. You know, a lesser team would have spotted Karma in middle map and tried to rush him, play a quick trade. Don't let him kind of move around, find new positioning. There, Envy know, let's play for a plant. We'll set up near rocks, play a free trade. They do it the right way. Yeah, it's a lot like how Envy plays hardpoint, you no, know, for that long game. You know, don't really want to chase after kills. They make the smart high percentage plays. As it's the same defense here from Envy. So they put pressure on that top side. Now they're going to be forced to rotate down here towards that bottom side of your map. Over towards B. To try and get a retake. Envy are here. First blood now onto Skump. And no bomb planted yet. Worst case scenario for Optic Gaming in this round. Oh! What the oh. hell was that? I thought the pre-fire on for Scump, but he gets gunned. Formal now by his lonesome. He will be dead any moment. He'll drop 2-2. Two, two. Big round for Envy. You know, it, it felt like for a second there, right? Optic rolling the first two rounds. They're going to run away with this game. Envy, slow it down. Well, Matt, we always mention the word adapt. Teams that kind of learn from what happened to them that went wrong early on in the map and make improvements as the map goes on. Already we're seeing that from Envious. Yeah, Slasher is a very smart player, especially in Search and Destroy, able to help He'll guide his team into some late round adjustments. And now we'll see what MD pulls out here on offense. And I'd like to see them play a little bit further back here at B. Maybe see if you can bait Optic Gaming in. Because, you know, look, you, you lose two rounds if you're Optic. What do you go with? Kind of your bread and butter. Force gunfights, get aggressive. Maybe if Envy plays a little bit further back, they get an early pick. Optic. They want to stick as a unit of four. Envy trying to spread them thin as Optic always have found their strength in numbers, using their gun skill and trading ability to their advantage to win rounds. You see the bomb moving up from Envy. That's J-Cap with the objective. Still no plant again. Very passive. It looks like Optic are going to go for the retake. J-Cap wins the first. Traded out, though. Informal able to get away with his life. He's being hunted, though, by Apathy. Can't get the angle. Apathy trying to trade two times in a row. He just can't get there in time to trade. Flying back and forth. Suddenly his buy is lonesome. Pinned, cornered, dead. Optic recover. They stopped the bleeding there as Envy did have two rounds in a row. And that sums up the teamwork of Optic. Two bullets peppered in from Karma and one each from Formal and Crim6. Three players alive, Matt. Three players getting involved. And it's a round where Envy draws first blood. They get into the site. They're not able to win any more fights after that. Apathy, if he's able to pick up one of those kills, be such a different round. Formal tags up one almost immediately. FTL's forward first. There's two more there. Is anyone going to be able to finish it? Karma does at least get one. Two versus two. One versus two. Ooh. Scuff eliminated. Back and forth we go. Three, three. Nice win from Envy. And you see Scump realizing that's a round that you think they should take, but John dancing perfectly inside you gets the final two kills. Well, I think for Formal, after he gets the first kill, he, after that FDL, he thinks there's one player there a week. I don't think he was prepared for two to be there. Nope. That was kind of the swing. And then they light up for Karma. He's only able to get one. Things kind of fall apart after that. Yeah, and when Formal uses that FTL and he picks up one, it's such a hard thing to communicate where that second player is. The person following up, not in a great spot because there's that crate there. You can't really see which player Formal is tagging up. And that's how you saw Envy swing that round in their favor. Well, the two key players from either side, Karma and Slasher, when you talk about camo and how influential it can be on the search and destroy, neither really having a, a great game. Uh, ahead a little bit here is Karma. But this, uh, you think they're both going to get it. This looks like one's going to go all the way down to round 10, round 11. Camo should be involved. Crim6, first blood. Crim6, not only does he get first blood, but he gets a ton of information for his team. He knows the bomb is there. The challenge now coming in. This should be the perfect pinch for Optic Gaming. They just need to win the first gunfight. Formal's here. They're not ready for it. Oh, no, he misses the shots on the Apathy. 
Two versus one. You saw Envy take care of business in a 2v1 earlier. Optic able to handle it here as well. And you've seen Apathy in a bunch of tough spots, whether it was you know, either bomb site, he gets stuck, he's in a 1v3, 1v2. Not that you expect him to come up clutch in those situations, but maybe one of these times he's going to go big. But as it stands, Optic Gaming takes the edge. Round count, four to three. Room six just peeking middle. No sniper yet from John. That's Optic. They know the site that works for them. They might as well keep hitting it. As they'll have a 4v2 near this site. Slasher just barely able to stay alive there. And look at the nades. They're pre they're pre-nading that site trying to stop the plant. This is just an onslaught. Both teams flying at each other. Who's gonna win it one-on-one? -on -one? It isn't Kev. Right there, you almost feel the shift in this game. As that round, the swing, the two-time champion Karma kills the two-time champion JCap to put Optic up five to three. One more round, and you've got a 2-0 edge. Karma, Camo, popped and flying forward. It's a slaughter as they fly in. Only Cap remains. He's been spotted. He's at least able to pick up one kill. Can't get away. It's a victory for Optic Gaming and a 2-0 edge. And for Envy, you know, round five and round eight during that game, you draw first blood, you lose both of those rounds. That's ultimately what costs you. You hear the fans in the venue. The fans getting hype. They know how close it is. It'll take one more uplink. We'll get there right after this break.
One more map is all that was chanted through that break. Optic Gaming fans know how close they are. You see on the edge of that trophy, the names engraved from past champions. Optic, one map from joining them on that prestigious list. It's going to be a very tough road to close Envious out, though. It is. We go to Uplink. They've been great in the game mode all weekend long. We talked about it before that loss to Optic in the first series, 100% win rate. Can they extend this series? So the first series between these two teams in the winner's bracket final, we went to Frost, right? And be able to take it. We go to Throwback. Optic takes it. It's our third and final uplink. It's going to be Precinct. This could be it, or it could be uh, one of the craziest reverse sweeps in the history of Call of Duty. Incredible moments, incredible scenes here at the Amway Center. I've had chills the whole time this, this entire finals. I mean, this is just my third year involved. You guys have been here longer. Have you ever seen moments like this? I've been every chance. And no. <laughs> this, is the, this is the craziest it's been. Uh, I know as a player during Black Ops 2, you know, caster talent all the way through the others. This has definitely been, at least in my opinion, the best one. It's, you know, last year was great in the sense that it was kind of EU versus North America, but here it is just two juggernaut historical franchises from North America that have helped build Call of Duty from the ground up. They've been here the entire time. And this has just been truly special. There it is. The title of Call of Duty champion. Everything that these guys play for. Envy. They won it last year. I, I must say, you cannot count the boys in blue out. That is so key to mention. If you are Optic Gaming, you end it here. You cannot let Envy hang around in this series. You have them dead to rights. Put them away. Jack, you said Envy, they can come back in any situation. Kind of ironic that we're going to Precinct in which we saw them mount the greatest comeback maybe ever, ever in Call of Duty. They might have to do it again here to start the, the comeback in this series, They buddy. might have to do it indeed. Oh boy, oh boy, folks. Welcome. This is what the Call of Duty World League is all about. Millions on the line across the year. And honestly, this could be the final map of our season. The right side of your screen, Team Envious. The left, Optic Gaming, Precinct Uplink. Match point. It's a nice opening here from Optic Gaming as they locate three kills. Drone pushing forward. And from the side Envious is playing on here. They just cannot let a lead get out of hand. So many times you see not the game, and they get control of the other team's spawn. The next thing you know, seven points are on the board, 10 points are on the board. If you are Envy, keep it low scoring in the first half of the game, then you go on the real attack in the second half. Oh, Krem6 lining people up there for a couple of kills, but will be traded out. No real offense here in the opening 60 seconds. It's, you know, Jack, you talked about kind of, you know, from window to statue to block. Kind of explain the progression of this map. There's three main power positions on this lane that you see that the drone keeps pushing towards. This top window that Karma's currently playing, the cat statue that you see AR's always post up on, and the block that's on the top right of your mini-map in that park area. For example, Formal on the middle of these two, signifying that Optic are fighting for middle map control Every kill he gets here will let his submachine guns push up and play that close range, but his job right now, shut down the ARs of Envy. Slasher versus Formal, it's been a theme all weekend long. And right now, I'll tell you what, man, <laughs> one of them can definitely dictate the pace of this game. You don't want to say it's nerves, but both teams at the beginning have not had a chance to put points on the board, both playing a little bit more passive than we've seen them play throughout the rest of the weekend. Do you think maybe the break kind of does that? Like, you actually, you have 10 whoa, minutes whoa, whoa. there to let it set in? Look at this. Ending, they're all pushing out statue. Optic find the open lane. They connect with the first point. Karma and Crim6 pinch from construction and catch Envy off guard. First point to Optic. You see Formal trying to deal with players inside lobby, also pushing a ticket. He's going to get bullied out of his power position. But 
nobody able to get anything on Dronia. John comes in from behind, finishes up the two weak players from off the gaming, and now a chance for Envy. Slasher trying to layer the map in the towards that block that you were mentioning earlier. Optic, they have to defend their base. They're seven minutes from a title. Let's hear their communication. I get flank. Cat, 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 cat. I'm weak. I'm still weak. I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm weak. Another one close app. He slipped block. Block, 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 block. Capture, capture, death. Nice. Block. I have your help. I have your help. Still behind, behind it. Still behind it. Still behind it. Watch out. Watch out. Nice. Let's go, boys. Yo, go away. I'm going away. Cat, cat, cat. Cat, cat, cat. Is he already top? Top, 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 top. Try to get tail. Balls can reset. Balls can reset, Damon. Damon, Damon, watch your white. Damon, watch your white. Orange, 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 orange slasher. Orange slasher, one shot. Nice. L, L, L. John, watch out on me. Light, light, light. Oh, he's oh, caps white. White. Before, before, before. Yeah, white. First guy, first guy, John on sign right yeah, now. Yeah, they're pushing. He's going high left wall run. One now, one now. One more. Oh, we got John. Yeah, cap flank, you cap flank, you flank. Just trap back, just trap back. Oh shit. We should go new. Money on money on money. He's behind me. Behind me. Nice. Good job. John, down on the blank hat. Two low, one more low on me. One more low on me. Go in. Go in. Go in. Close, close. I got you. Close half, last guy. Close half, last guy. We can go to Captain maybe. Oh, behind us. Behind us. Dead. Nice one. Nice. Yeah, so go right away. He's on hey, ball spawn. Let's go back to cats. Yeah, I'm wrapping cat. I'm wrapping cat, guys. Abs here, abs here, close go. left. Abs dead. Abs dead. Abs dead. I'm watching Another one. Slash right. orange. Slash orange. I'm hitting him. Nothing top. Nothing top. Let's go. Nothing white. Nothing white. Nothing white. Orange dead. Nice. nice. Damon. Yo, back alley. Back alley. Go back alley with ball. Slash was here. Go back alley with ball. Top glass. Orange, orange, orange. Slash top glass. Going to the back door. Slash is back door. Nice. Top one shot. Top coming. Top coming. My bad. He's top, still top, two. Still top, one more. No hold, Matt, just keep holding class. Two top class, two top class. Three, three class, three class. Nothing white, nothing white yet. Nothing white yet, guys. We can go for the yellow one. We can go for the yellow one. Get ball back. Start moving it. No ball, ball, no, I picked it up. I'm out. Two on balls one, two on balls one. Another one, John, balls one. Last guy, cat, one touch. He's on the trash can inside of L. Inside L right now. Yeah, Matt, I spawn. I spawn white, Matt. I spawn white. Absurd on me, absurd on me, guys. He's in L still. Yeah, we're in L still. In L still. In L still. In L still. Is it out, cat? Is it out, cat? Go for it. Yeah, it's out, cat. Backstairs, backstairs, jump. One nade in the end. Backstairs, weak. Backstairs, weak. Backstairs, weak. One stop, cat. Back, cat. Cat, one stop. Yellow on me. Yellow. Yo, ball's gonna reset. Ball's gonna reset. Orange, orange. Get ready to go. He went yellow. He went yellow. Right here. We can go white. Let's go, baby. Go to the yellow. Go 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 yellow. One's oh, definitely white. Yeah, yeah, we can go, 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 to end the first half for Optic Gaming. They had another opportunity to score. They tried pushing the drone forward. They tried to get a reset. Envy was able to throw it off the map. But there at the end, they clutch up. Only five minutes away from taking this. I'll tell you what, five minutes away from Karma two rings becoming Karma three rings. The first ever. Unbelievable. What can Envy do? This is the side where they had to fight against E United all day yesterday in this match. And now they have their backs against the wall on the verge of elimination, on the verge of twice in a row having Opti Gaming beat them back to back best of fives in a grand final. Three dead now for Envy as Optic looking to regain some control of the mid street and apply the pressure forward. Crim6 just looking for an opening here as they're going to wrap it back as two die. He's getting this off the map. Smart play is uh, the pressure going to be coming here quickly from Envy. They do give a lot of map control to Envy. We'll see if Envy can make anything happen with the drone in hand. Jcap's able to grab one. They're bringing it down towards this lower side. They may try pushing it through this back alley. Nothing. Like a bird out of the sky. How high was he to grab that pick? That was the highest that he could <laughs> see when jumping. It may have just been the POV we watched it, it from, but. Super jetpack. Wow. And we recover, though. Still four to two, one possession game. From five minutes down to just three minutes now. For Optic Gaming. And their first ever call to the World League Championship. Ooh. 
Two down now for either side. Three minutes remaining on the map. If you're just joining us, you missed some incredible games. But this could be the final map at the Call of Duty World League Championship here for 2016. This is this is crazy stuff. And Optic is going to end up getting camo. Ooh. So Karma getting very close to active camo. Slasher on the other side of things may not get this ability. With only being a one possession game, camo may be the deciding factor. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Great point, Matt, as this goes on. Karma inching closer and closer to that incredible payload ability. Crimson steals that kill from him. Karma on the challenge, gets the kill. And he's looking for more as Edney come off the spawn. He knows there's blood in the water. You just see him soaring forward. So much confidence. Another respawn in which Karma is leading the way at 21 and 17. But like you said, Matt, it's going to be that payload. Using it wisely, that's going to be the difference in this game. From three minutes down to two minutes. Optic closing in on the title. running out of time here. They have not been able to get control of mid-map. They have not been able to get the drone. Karma with active camo. This could be the can push. Can it be, be the one to put it away? What a play, though, by Slasher. Can he actually stop it? The camo still up. Has to take the one-point toss, but that, that's big. Makes it a two-possession game. Three-point lead for Optic. Slasher still hasn't earned his camo either. He needs, what, two, two kills or so? Yep. J-Cat doesn't have his overdrive. You've got nothing to work with here. From two minutes down to 60 seconds, this is it for the green wall. Slasher with camo. But his teammates cannot find anything. All the kills in favor of Optic Gaming. Envy pushed all the way back to their spawn. 45 seconds away from closing this series out. Scump, hunting for that first ring, doing what he can here to keep Envy players coming off a of spawn. No ground given now as Karma finds another two piece. Here's the overdrive. Bob, is he just trying to back him up? Make it all the plays, it's Grim Six.
a legendary tournament, a legendary finish. Envy knocks you down, you come back up. Feel free to put that back down if you need. Never. No, no, it's fine. Karma, I have to ask you though, you have now reclaimed the throne. The only man in Call of Duty with three rings. How'd you do it, buddy? Oh man, it feels great, you know, and just to do it in that fashion, I, I couldn't have wanted it any other way. Crim6, congratulations on ring number two, formal ring number one, and we brought some friends out here to award some prizes. Please welcome to the stage, we have David Mickner, Joe Seacott, Ashton Williams, and Jay Perrier from Infinity Ward and Activision. And David, I will let you do the honors. First, the rings, my friend. Pick a winner, scum. They played all year for the bling on their fingers. And we are getting some beautiful shots, but it's not just the rings. It's not just the glory. Of course, it also comes with $600,000. Joe, anything you'd like to say to these guys? I'd like to say congratulations on behalf of Infinity Ward and Activision. You guys deserve it. You deserve every dollar. Massive congratulations. Once Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 Call of Duty World League Champions, I 